So here the lines that we see here, these um, lines are not really on uh, where they're supposed to be because there's answer here and then there's teacher's mark and then the question starts here. So this line is somewhat on the wrong place. So let's look for that HR tag, which is here. Uh, so the first one is fine, that's okay. And then we go to the loop where we are looping through the, um, the questions themselves. And at some point we have an HR tag, which is here just before teacher's mark. So this one I will try and remove or just, yeah, let's remove that one. And this is, where is the end if, uh, teacher's mark. So right at the end here for the for each loop, just after the div here, let's see what div this one is. Um, okay, so what we can do is just get this div and put a style. So we're going to say style and say border bottom. And we'll say solid thin. Um, what color do we put there? Maybe 555, a light gray. Okay, so that's what we get which is different from that. So I much rather like the HR attack. So I'm going to remove this because it also gives us a bit of space. So right at the end here, I'll put uh, HR attack like so. And there we go. So teacher's mark. Uh, then another question is here. That's good. So let's remove the other one just before teacher's mark. Oh. It is already removed, so what's going on? Oh, this one here. Okay, that's much better. So, uh, but where is the teacher's mark? Also, oh, the teacher's mark comes with the um, font awesome. So instead of putting font awesome here for correct, uh, times means wrong so what we'll say is let's remove this and just say wrong and let's put this one and say correct and yeah this is only for the multiple choice let's do the same here as well so this is correct and this one here is wrong Okay, so let's refresh. So teacher's mic correct, wrong, correct, etc. etc. So there's a font size is quite high. Let's try and reduce that to 20 pixels. Which hasn't changed for the other ones. Uh, there's another 45 here. Let's change that to 20 as well. And also I want to maybe try and float it to the other side. Hmm. Let's do that. So let's do a float uh, right like this. Let's see what that does. Okay. At least this way it's easy to see what's wrong and what's correct like that. Okay. So this one wrong, that one correct, correct, wrong. So you can um, do whatever you want with these things really. Uh, here the answer, we can say student's answer. That should make more sense. Select your answer. Why do we even have these in here? This is, uh, this is not even useful at all. Select your answer choices yeah we don't need this at all so let me remove this above teacher's mark uh, yes let's see if i haven't broken anything no i haven't okay so that's good let's also remove the dates here we don't really need them after the question uh, i'm going to remove this span 
that has the date. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. So question one, uh, instead of just answer, where is that? Let's put students, students answer. Where can't I find it? Oh, there we go. Students answer, teachers mark, there we go. Okay, so maybe to highlight this section, let's see, it's contained in this div, which starts from there. Uh, teachers mark, teachers mark, where's uh, students answer again? It's right here. Mm hmm why do I even have this here this is weird uh, yes let's see if I delete this type multiple because it seems like a repeat of exactly the same thing that I have here and there for some reason let's refresh okay so something is missing here let me undo so let me cut this one on top instead i don't know what that is for but it seems like nothing has been affected oh no something has been affected here at the very end yeah okay so it was doing something so I'll leave it there uh, what I was trying to do is darken this uh, bottom part this is in card body here any of these classes don't really do anything so you can remove all the classes that are here to reduce the text that you have to send in so you can spend some time and delete all that so what I want here is to change this to a style and then in here I'll say uh, background color let's try AAA I want to see what that is okay so it's all of this I just wanted this bottom part where the answer is so apparently that's uh, not correct here so I'll copy this whole div, but then remove the style. I want to get only after pupil's answer, student's answer, and uh, the teacher's mark. So type is equal to that. This sets the type, and then there's teacher's mark right here. And this goes with that. This goes with this, and finally we are here. So I'll select this. This one goes, that's where it starts from. Oh, so maybe that's here. Oh no, this is actually the part I had selected. So not the part at all. Hmm. What am I looking for here? I think it starts right here but this end if goes there as well so that's not really good the question is here so maybe just after the question so I'll paste right there and then put duplicate this div here to avoid having problems so refresh and there we go okay so it's working as I wanted but the it's still too dark so let's do e e e and then let's add a bit of padding like uh, 10 pixels so back here refresh and there we go okay at least it highlights where somebody should look it gives them where their eyes should go 
something like that. Now, obviously, this is a, the worst design of any um, test paper or something like that. So please go ahead and do your own designs, your own CSS. You can go crazy on this part. I don't want to waste your time just designing this thing uh, from scratch and testing things out. So this is the result that we wanted though, and we can save this as a PDF. So let's do that in the next video.